forward. All right, so we are at the crown of a snowmobile triggered avalanche in Canyon Creek. Extended column test at the crown, just one tap. We have our slab above and this avalanche failed about a foot or so down on really weak snow sitting above a crust. And the average slope angle of the crown right here is about 40 degrees. We don't know exactly where the rider was when he triggered the avalanche, where he was on the slope. Um, but from our estimates, it looked like the average crown depth is about a foot deep. And it looks to be anywhere between six and 800 feet wide. So a pretty wide slide. It certainly reached the road down in Canyon Creek and some of the debris went over the road. We know that at least one person was partially buried uh, with, along with his sled, uh, but made it out okay. And so clearly we have a hazard where we have weak snow facets sitting above a crust. And the possibility also exists that any avalanche that starts in the upper part of the snowpack can certainly step down into these weaker layers in this shallow area. Um, our total snow depth here is about 150 centimeters. So we're looking at around five feet or so. So not very deep. Now we're looking down slope. The very bottom of the canyon, you can see the groom trail. And this is just a classic terrain trap. So we're looking at from down from the crown and then even from the other side, we have open gladed terrain that avalanches could certainly occur there as well and reach the gully down there, so a classic terrain trap at the bottom of Canyon Creek. 